Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Today we're going to tell you all you need to know about playing a lob shot. Welcome back to We Play Golf, the golf channel where you easily learn how to play golf. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or suggestions, put them in our comment box below. In today's video, we're going to show you what is a lob shot, when do you need to use it, and how you're going to play it. Now, first of all, you need to know is you need a lob wedge. You need one of those to make sure you have enough loft to get the ball up in the air. What is a lob shot? A lob shot is a ball flight that will go straight up in the air with lots of spin and no roll. So the ball will actually go only up high and sit immediately still onto the green. So where are you going to need it? Well, first of all, if the flag is very close to the front of the green. If you don't have enough green to work with and there's a, a, a hazard, the hazard could be a bunker, could be thick rough, it could also be a little mount, so where well, you need to go over and make the ball stop very fast. The other hand, if your ball is in thick rough and you're still very close to the green and you have some room to go between the front edge of the green and the flag, there I would actually use my lob wedge again because when you play from very long grass you don't get enough spin, so you want to add speed with this loft, I'll need to add speed to get through the grass and eventually it won't run as much as I would have with a pitching wedge or a gap wedge. When I show you the first lob I've been playing, it's actually the ball is now deep in the rough. I've got a bunker in front of me and not a lot of green to work with. First of all, I put the ball towards my front foot. I keep my weight onto my front foot and I push on my left foot. I, I keep pushing on that foot. When I address the club, I take the club at the normal position, normal grip. When I put the club on the ground, I'll be posing it about one inch before the ball. So I have one inch of grass between the club and the ball. That's where I'm going to aim the club face and the sole of the club will bounce underneath the grass at that point. So with the 60 degree, keep your weight on the front foot. Now from there on, I'll make the back swing three quarter with the wrist hinge up. Now, this action is loading up the shaft and then I can release the club face down into the grass. With the sole of the club face being as thick as this one, it will give me enough bounce to get through the ball and under through the grass. This is how we do it address the club one inch in front of the ball aim there and make speed with the club face underneath the ball leaning on your left foot so that ball landed one meter from the hole and actually it set immediately still onto the green that's because the grooves of the club went underneath the ball and i use a loft they get the ball up in the air. This is how we play our lob shot and this is how we play golf. See you next time. When you make that lob shot and you don't trust the club, instead of letting it drop down, you're going to try to scoop the ball. That won't work. So you need to trust your lob wedge in swinging down through the grass. That's when you play a good lob shot. This is how we play golf. Bye bye.